just in terms of rest recovery, I mean, eight straight weeks of football and kind of your first year of just significant action and contribution. Uh, how much does this bye week help lighten up your legs and get you kind of refreshed? Um, it, it, it helps tremendously, especially with at this point in the season. I know a lot of teams have their bye weeks either early on in the season or later in the season, but being at that like that midpoint of the season is 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 going to help tremendously. Being able to get into the training room more and you know they as far as Coach Moffitt and everything in the weight room, they 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 know kind of how everything should go as far as lifting weights and everything to to help our bodies recover throughout this time. You're obviously still really busy this week, even though it is a bye week. But what have you, what have you done, and what do you plan to do in the extra free time? Um, more school. You know, it's it's just not it's it's not like we're not in school. You know, student athletes. That's 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 our thing. That's that's Coach O's motto. Um, so being able to being able to sit and get in get in the study rooms more, and being able to finish papers and stuff that I have that I have due. I actually have a paper due tomorrow, a seven page paper. So. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm try to kill that tonight. Finish, finish that one up. What do you What do you think you'll do on Saturday, Clyde? Is there anything? Are you into anything? I mean, I don't know if it's fishing, if it's video games. You play like, what do you think you're gonna do on a Saturday game day without a without a game? Um, see, first off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wake up earlier, you know, just to enjoy my whole day. Then, with with all my family being around, who knows what I'll get into? I mean, for the most part, um, just got a just got a new duck boat, so. You know, probably go try to mount the motor on that. We just got a motor a couple of days ago. Get that all situated before hunting season and whatnot, uh, so I don't have to worry about it when hunting season happens. Um, other than that, just pretty much chill out. Probably watch a couple games, but other than that, just just kind of float around the city. Any team in particular? Um, nah, no, nope. mm, -mm. <laughs> not, not one team in particular. <laughs> you excited about? I mean, I was. Big game, so I mean it's, it's coming up. So is it is it you guys kind of looking at that already? Because already kind of trying to like look of a uh, prepare for that game already, or is it just kind of you know just 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 bits and tads, uh, piece and piece. Especially this week. I mean this this week is mainly about us making sure making sure everybody's healthy, making sure everybody's focused, making sure everybody you know what I'm saying has that has that that good time away from not having a game this week, being able to being able to get you know what I'm saying get back to your old self and and. Renew yourself before we have, before we wrap back into the, the second half of the season. Have you seen these uh, free Devin White billboards? I mean, what is the team kind of thinking? Oh about? yeah, <laughs> I mean, for the most part, everybody everybody thinks it's pretty cool. Just to have a just to have a fan base and 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 have you know what I'm saying the the fans support us how they how, how they are and and believe in something that they feel that they feel is right. Um, I'm, I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm pretty sure the team is enjoying it. But you know. Just like anything else, we don't blink and, and, and move on. Speaking of moving on, I mean, you're not going to be there for that first half of the game. I mean, how yeah. the rest of the team kind of stepped up to, I guess, fill in that role without knowing he's not going to be there for the first half of the game? Just staying, staying encouraging to him. Um, he's he's been encouraging also in the locker room, and we know. I mean, we have we have guys that's that's behind it. Like we have uh, Patrick Queen is going to step up in that position and and make his mark and 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 do what he needs to do in that first half of the game, and then Devin's we're going to do what we need to do to wrap up the second half. Can I talk about those linebackers, guys you face? I, I imagine you do one-on-ones against consistently. Yeah. Did you have a, a kind of welcome to college football moment with any one of those guys in particular in the past couple of years? Can, can you break that, that moment down for us? Um, I, would, I wouldn't say it, it, was, it was the linebackers. I would say uh, probably like a, a scrimmage early on and just, you know, everybody's first time being full speed and then – you know, just my just my first scrimmage. Like, you know, you can practice everything through fall camp, but once you hit that first fall camp scrimmage, that's when you realize it's kind of real. You know, just the just the pace of everything just was a little quicker than I, than, I, than it was, and then by the by the second half of the scrimmage, everything kind of kind of start, started to slow play.